Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I thought I would just do a get ready with me and chit chat with you guys. Uh, try on some new products or products I've already been, have used or, you know, just a little get ready with me. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching. Alright, so I just thought we'd go ahead and have a chit chat, get ready with me. Uh, get ready with me kind of a video. So I already primed my face. I ended up, I haven't used this one for a while. It's my Laura Mercier uh, foundation primer. It's a really nice primer. I actually have had a sample of the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. This is the anti-aging one. I bought a little sam uh, deluxe sample of it. I do really like this eyeshadow primer. It's really nice. It kind of smooths out the eyelids a little bit better for me. As well, I put my Pixie um, what is this? The brightening peach in my inner corner to kind of cover up the shadows and darkness in there. I'm actually going to, I've been using this pure, it's from pure. It's like a lip scrub. It's a plumping lip, lip, it's a plumping lip exfoliator from pure cosmetics. And this is really nice. It actually, uh, I feel like I can smell papaya or something like that, like some kind of fruit. Uh, I'm not sure which it is. I'd have to look at the ingredients. Uh, but it's very exfoliating and smoothing. Two eyeshadow palettes I might play around with is my Festival one, the Too Faced Life's Festival. I might play around with this one and also play around with the Anastasia. This one's the Prism palette. I got a nice clean sweep like color wheel thing or this wheel thing or whatever you want to call it. Um, I want to give away from Cinnamon Girl, Cinnamon Girl, Michelle from Cinnamon Girl Beauty. And it was uh, a few different things. She sent me some uh, deluxe sample goodies, even that cute little picture frame up around here. This one that says, excuse me while I succeed, uh, picture frame was in with it too. And I thought that was so cute. So I put it back here. Um, Steinmart. I'm looking on the back here. Steinmart. So I want her Steinmart giveaway. I got had some luck lately in winning some giveaways. This is exciting. I've never got to use one of these, but yay. <laughs> definitely gonna keep that. I'm definitely gonna keep this tin. And I sometimes a lot of times will save this is different texture, so I can see why that works really nice. Sometimes I save these that come in my boxy charm. Seriously. That's what I use instead of, and it works. And as you can see, that's a lot of stain from one of my Juvia place palettes. Wow, I love that. Eyeshadows are pigmented. Step right on into my Prism palette uh, from Anastasia. I don't have the Glam one yet. I want to get that one. I'm going to use Unity first to put all over as a base over my primer. That's what I'm going to do first. Then I'll go into Lore because. I'm kind of feeling a purple mauvey look today. That's what I'm going for. And my aunt and uncle from over in, um, I think they live in Wyoming. They move a lot. So I get confused where they, they live sometimes. They've been everywhere. Um, year, years ago, I went to visit them in New Jersey and they, I stayed with them. That was my first time flying, even on a big jet liner, I remember. So, uh, so yeah, they, they, they like move everywhere. <laughs> and I could get confused sometimes of where they're exactly <laughs> at. Now I'm going to step into that lure color. I like that lure. It does look like a dusty mauve shade. That's what it looks like to me. So we're going to Go ahead and step into that and I'm going to try and look straight ahead here on this little mirror. I do need a bigger mirror for sure. So it's finally nice weather here. Finally, I do love my spring and summertime the most. I am not a fall or winter person at all anymore. Um, I mean, I do appreciate summer. Sometimes it can get a little hectic. But, you know, with the humidity, but I, I just, I still do really like it. That makes a darker color than what I guess I was 
imagining. Hmm. It's been a while since I used this palette. I think I've only used it crazy enough. I think I've only used it twice, maybe three times. That's terrible. Bring in a little bit more closer. Any plans for anybody out there with um, now that we're in the nicer weather? I know some of you guys like doing your camping. I know Monica does. She likes doing her camping. And I know Annie uh, from Beauty Age Defy. I think that's the name of her channel. It's something like that, I know. Um, I know she has a camper now, too. I have to laugh because I picture myself in a camper. If you've ever watched the movie RV with Robin Williams, that's how I picture me in a camper, having all sorts of problems. I think what I might do next is go in the Life's uh, a Festival palette. In my Too Faced Life's a Festival palette. I'm going to work in Fantasy next in my crease. This beautiful, it's like a beautiful purple shade. Gosh, everybody in my house ended up sick. And then here I've been with my problems and situations I've had. So it's just like everybody's just had something going on. My husband ended up really sick in the stomach. My mom ended up really sick in, in the stomach. And um, my brother right now seems to have a case of a cold and cough. Ooh, that's, should have watched how I dipped in that, I guess. Holy cow. Uh, but yeah. I'm using this slanted brush I got from Mally. I don't really, really have a lot of fancy brushes, honestly. Yeah, I'm using Mally's, like this slanted brush, like a double-sided brush. I think she has different eyeshadow brushes and stuff now, though. These are from her older sets. I kept quite a few because I used to get a lot of QVC deals. I'm going to use my Milk Crayon from NYX, 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 or whatever it is, whatever. Some people call it NYX, some call it NYX. I just, whatever, you know. But I'm going to put some of that on my eyelid here. So I want that color to pop a little bit more. I'm going to go for this Mystic Rain shade. It's like a duochrome uh, shift, like a lavender pink. And I thought that would look really pretty there. So that's what I'm working on. So I'm just putting it very lightly there. And I take, I've been taking my finger a lot lately. I notice when I'm putting a shade on my eyelids that, I don't know, I just find using it is the best way to get these beautiful kind of colors from this palette or any palette that has shimmers or anything. I've been just using my finger anymore. I used to do that once in a while, but now I'm doing it like all the time. So I'm going to take that Mystic Rain, that's what it looks like on my finger there, and I'm going to place that right on the eyelid. Look at that. Look at that. That looks so pretty. Okay, I'm going to pick up some more of the, um, oh, it's fun to see. I said fantasy, fun to see. That purple shade that um, over here, it's called fun to see. Do you guys see the Kim Kardashian perfume bottle? That's like the, you know, like neck down to her pelvic area, like naked body, like really? No, I, I know. I'm not a fan of Kim Kardashian anyway, or the Kardashian stuff family. I, I haven't even bought anything. Just when I seen that, I thought, oh my gosh, like, 
that's the most ridiculous. I, I like why couldn't she just do what um, Nicki Minaj did? You know, like of her face or head or something. <laughs> you know why? Why did she have to go ahead and do something like that? Is beyond me. You know. And I realize some people are fans of hers and that, and that's fine. I mean, I wouldn't. It's just me personally. I just don't really care for her and all that. Jazz. Oh, Jennifer Lopez. I want to get that Inglot set. Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez. That's my girl. That's she's my jam. She's my girl. Okay, so that's what I got in my eyes. Oh, unicorn tears here. That's like I guess the highlight there. Do I want to do that? Mm, I might do that. What the heck? Uh, just for fun. This is for fun and whatever you know. But hey, look, it brightens it up there which that's what I like. I don't always put shimmers there, but why not? For my eyeliner, I've been using the Maybelline Master Precise uh, by iStudio. This one here, it's like a little nice felt tip eyeliner is, you know, like one of these. I really like this one. It's pretty, you know, it's pretty inexpensive. And I don't know, just it's been working out really nice for me. So I've been going with it. So I'm using the Tarte, Tartiest, uh, I got this in my BoxyCharm mascara, and I am liking it. I a couple times had a few problems with it, as in flaking wise, uh, a couple times it flaked on me, but I haven't had that recently, so I am kind of really liking it. It would be a mascara that I could possibly see myself if it was on sale or maybe want to purchase, you know, because it does make my lashes look nice. What is it with us who put makeup on that we feel like we have to keep our mouth open? I don't know. Mystery to all. I guess it's a natural reflex for us. Like, it's going to do something extra special to that mascara or makeup look to our eyes, I guess. Is that what we're thinking? I don't know. I'm just going to use my Rimmel Nude. Is this nude? Yeah, the Rimmel Nude um, liner. I think I'm just going to use that because I'll do my bottom line area with some purples, I think. That's what I'm going to do. i use this one for a while. The Master Conceal by Face Studio. This is a really good. You know, honestly, this concealer could almost be close to even a dupe to um, the Tarte Shape Tape. But this um, concealer here is a very thick, heavy-duty one. And I also think the Maybelline Better Skin definitely could give a run for that. I mean, it, this you just need a little bit, and I already got too much on there. And I'm not sure if this, I know the Better Skin one dries fast, similar to the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm not sure if this one does. I can't remember. Okay, I'm going to set that. I'm going to use that HD powder that I showed in my favorites, the HD Finishing Powder um, from the Studio Makeup. But what I'm going to do is use one of my Pure Cosmetics little spongy, spongy things. And I'm going to spray it with my Cover FX spray. I'm trying different techniques. Now I've been doing this to set under here. And I am liking it so far. It seems a little bit better. Even extra better than just using my finger. I feel like, you know, using, using it wet helps. I'm going to use Ready, Set, Gorgeous from CoverGirl Foundation. This is in my... Uh, project use up for the year so I'm gonna use this. I guess what I'm gonna use for the glow is my spotlight. I'm gonna mix that together then. See what we get. I have this brush here from Walmart. It's a flat kabuki brush and it's in the Equate and I tried a couple times. It's it's not bad. I think it depends on what foundation you use. Um, I just put, uh, push it in first and then work around a little bit more but yeah it depends on 
what foundation do you use first? But I don't think it's as dense as my it my it cosmetics one that I always liked using for flat kabuki. I liked using theirs a lot. The CoverGirl um, foundation is nice when you first put it on. It doesn't impress me, but as it sets later, like as time goes, it starts looking really nice. It's really crazy. I don't even know if they have that one now anymore. Now I'm going to set with this HD powder on my face now a little bit. So fun to see that one shadow that I thought was fantasy. Fun to see. I'm going to work down there. I get that pop of purple down below. Then I'm going to use that lure shade that like a mauvey, um, whatever color that is. I'm going to work that along in there too. I'm going to use my highlighter and contour palette by IBY Beauty. Another one of those boxy charm items. Um, I usually go between contour one and three because those are the colors I like the best. So I'm going to use contour three today. Get behind the ear and along the jawline. I'm going to play with my Anastasia, this um, Aurora palette that has some pretty gorgeous shades. You know what? I'm going to try Spectre. I said I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I'm really not going anywhere and I'm just playing. Hmm. Yeah, kind of reminds me of um, Laura Geller's um, Baked Gelato and it's the one that has like a swirl of rainbow colors. I'm trying to think something dust. That's what it reminds me of, honestly. I'm actually going to take the Luna shade, that Luna that's in the middle. I'm going to use that. That is Luna is a really pretty color. I have used it a couple times. Really like it. And I actually like using it in my inner corner of my eye. Oh, it is so pretty there to brighten up. Oh, yeah. And for blush, uh, Dawn Makeup and More, Dawn, oh Dawn, I forget your channel's name, but I'll put a link down below to the channels that I mentioned or the people I mentioned, but this Pansy Pop from Clinique, she was showing that she ha has this and I had purchased it a while ago, and this is a really pretty, uh, perp like lavender, whatever color you want to call it, um, I'm going to use that. See, I don't think they're as pigmented. They're that was the one thing I noticed. One thing I like to do, where is it at? Is use a small stippling brush and kind of blend it all together. This I learned up from Nicole Guerrero. This is that um, the brow girl, brow gal, uh, brow stuff I was telling you guys about that I really like. That has that little small bristle and micro fibers is what it has, and that's basically what I have been using as of late just for my brows. I need to get my brows done and shaped and all kinds of stuff. I think I might plan getting that done when I get my hair done. Whenever I get my hair done. It's like every time I wanted to get my hair done, it just has not happened. I haven't had it cut for so long. I haven't had it colored in so long. I'm going to use one of my color one of my color pop lip liners. This one is Lemire. I think that's the Kathleen, Kathleen Lights one, right? I'm actually just going to use this lip product here. 
It is from Colorish L'Oreal, and it is one of their lip balms in Tender Mauve, 518 Tender Mauve. I am not sure if you still can get these or not. I really don't know. It's a really pretty color, really pretty shade. Um, yeah, it just, it goes on very light and sheer, but I figured I'm going to add it to this look. All right, beauties, so thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate that. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you share my video. It gets me out there a little bit in the YouTube world land, and yeah, just gets me noticed more. And also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well. Please make sure you hit the bell that's right next to the subscribe button. They're right over in here. There's the red button of subscribe, and then you'll see a little bell. Click both and you'll get notified by email of when my new videos are uploaded and ready to watch if you want to keep connected and uh, stay tuned for what's going on next. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.